Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Denise from Solo Crafts. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for a box. Last year I participated in Kayla Crafts 830 Pocket Letter Challenge and for my entry I created a box to house my pocket letter inside of. So I was asked to do a tutorial on how I created that box. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today. So in front of you is a pocket letter that I had received before I started doing videos and the reason why I chose this one is because it's a little bit chunky it's got some raised elements on it and it has this dangle here and it's got this really pretty pink tool and I wanted to show you guys how I size this to fit into the box that I created so as you can see this part right here is raised up and then this one is raised up as well there you go see the pop dots okay so what you want to do is you want to take all the elements into consideration because this does have a dangle on it and you want to make sure that you have enough space for all of this to fit inside the box so you can measure this this is about nine inches wide and this side is just shy of four inches. So we got nine by four. Okay, so let me show you. This is a prototype that I made. Okay, and this is this lid is one inch, and then this base part is an inch and a half. Now you don't have to make it that deep. But if you wanted to put shred in here or if you wanted to wrap this up in tissue paper that would give you enough space to house all of this inside of okay. and there you go so that's what that looks like now you can also do if you don't have a bulky one you can also do one that's a little bit more shallow this one is only an inch and this one is just slightly wider, but it will still house this nicely. Okay. There you go. So I am going to show you how to create the deeper box. And just remember this is an inch and a half and if you want it to be shallower you can do this one here and this one is an inch deep both the lid and the base are an inch this lid is an inch and the base is an inch and a half okay so let's get started so you're gonna need your scoreboard some glue and some scissors so for the base this piece you need to cut from a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and the size of this sheet of paper is 6 and 7 eighths by 11 and 7 eighths and then the lid you can easily cut this from an 8 and a half by 11 sheet of paper this lid measures 6 by 11 inches okay so let's start with the base first for the base on the 7 inch side you are going to score your paper at one and a half inches all the way around on all four sides one and a half one and a half one and a half and one and a half okay and for the lid you're going to score this at one inch one inch on all four sides okay that's all the scoring we're going to be doing now what i like to do and it's totally up to you i like to cut my score lines first before i fold it and burnish it but you can fold and burnish first if that's what you're more comfortable doing so i'm going to cut here and here on both sides and I'm gonna wedge cut all of my flaps and I'm gonna do the same for the base Thank you. 
Okay, so this is what you're gonna have. Here's your base and here's your lid. So now you can go ahead and fold and burnish your paper. Now you're going to put glue on your flaps, you put them in, you put your box base together. And I'm using wet glue. You can use any other type of adhesive you want. You can use double-sided tape if you want to, or hot glue if you're more comfortable with that. But I like to use the wet glue because it makes it a little more sturdier and it does dry quickly. Line up your corners right to the edge and just press it down. And flip it over and do the other side. And do that to all of the corners on the lid and the base. There you have it. Now they should fit. Now let's make sure this fits. Perfect. Okay. So it's as easy as that. And all you have to do is put your mat on here. You can do a single layer or a double layer of mat. And I like to, to mat my sides as well on all four sides. That adds some sturdiness to the box. The best uh, cardstock to use is 110 or 80. It's up to you, but if you use a lighter weight cardstock, I would highly recommend adding mats all the way around and on the top, and that will add some sturdiness to your box. You can also add more sturdiness if you add another layer to the top of the lid here, and to the bottom of the base here, just stick another strip of cardstock in here that measures this whole um, size of the, the, the base here and that will make your box really sturdy. Okay, so it's pretty sturdy right now and I'm happy with the way it turned out. So that's, it's, re it's really, really simple to do and anyone can do this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below and i will get back to you thank you so much for watching and if you have not subscribed yet please go ahead and do so see you guys next time